Hello, nation. I am here with Cy Montgomery. Everybody knows Cy, author of Soul of an Octopus. She is our person. Um, wanted to celebrate Octopus Month um, and bring it in with a word from Cy and then just tell you, you know, set our intentions for the month. So if, you know, we celebrate Octopus Day every single day, 365 days a year. Um, but if you can, share more than you normally would. Tag a friend in one of our uh, videos and get them over um, to Octonation to learn all about these creatures. We're going to be doing a ton of events this month, um, so definitely stay tuned. Um, but hello, Cy, what's going on with you? What's, what's going on in your world? Boy, well, as I was just saying a minute ago, I told my husband Howard that it's World Octopus Day tomorrow. <laughs> And he said, grilled octopus day. I said, no, terrible, that's terrible. He thought, I don't know why they'd want to talk to you on grilled octopus day. But especially uh, octonation, especially <laughs> octonation. That, that would never be a thing. I know, I know. But I, I love octopus month. I love octopus day. It's so important, I think, right now, at this particular moment in history, for us to take our lessons from the octopus. I mean, here is a creature who is so many countries celebrate the octopus for its, its magical superpowers, its ability to reach out, its ability to make friends, not just across the aisle, but across taxa, um, across a billion years of evolution. Here, you can make an octopus your friend. And one other thing that octopuses, I think, remind us that, and this is actually the theme of um, an, a new book that I've written for young, young uh, readers, that school isn't the only place to find a teacher and that teachers are all around us and our job is to recognize them. And in the case of an octopus, your teacher has eight arms, three hearts, blue blood, and a brain that wraps around its neck. <laughs> you can be friends with somebody like that. And if you can be friends with someone like that, and they can understand your emotions and you can understand theirs, surely we can reach out to others who aren't so much like us. And this is something we really, really have to remember right now. And I think also with the climate disruption that's going on, with everything seems to be on fire, that this is a time to think about our earth. It's a time to think about the ocean, which is being even more affected by climate disruption than the land. And October is, as we know, the month that precedes November, a time that we can put our convictions to the ballot box. That's something we have to think about as well. So I think this could be the most important, most exciting, most educational, and most fun uh, Octopus Month ever in the history of the world. And you, Octo King, and you, my friends in the nation, are the ones who are making it so. I could listen to you talk forever, Sai. <laughs> this, is, this is really amazing. Thanks so much for coming on and having this conversation. Um, and especially with you know, My Octopus Teacher, where if you haven't seen that, it's almost like Octonation recommended watching in the sense where you get to um, see uh, the octopus and, and its connection uh, to a human. Um, the fact that they have short-term and long-term memory, they can recognize human faces. They um, think, you know, a, a lot of people's stories begin with going to an aquarium and, and looking at an octopus in its eyes and then having this feeling that it's looking back at you, it's thinking. And um, in your book, Solve an Octopus, you talk about that. Yeah, well, they are thinking, they are look, looking at you. And what re what's so remarkable to me is that they recognize your face and their faces aren't like our faces because our mouths are not in our armpits. You know, um, no one ever confuses my abdomen with all of my major organs in it with my head, which happens all the time. I know everybody thinks that part's the octopus's head. And... Um, and yet this animal can find our face and look into our faces and recognize it. And this, as you know, has been shown in careful experiments in which volunteers were dressed identically so that you know the octopus wasn't looking at the person's clothes, um, they were looking at their face. And we were talking about, you know, just the resources 
you know, because you mentioned, you know, you don't need to be in the classroom um, to, you know, find your teacher or to find, you know, lessons all around you. And even for me, somebody who doesn't really have a science background to be the founder of Octonation and to facilitate these conversations between people um, such as yourself and um, uh, Aquarius, uh, scientists, researchers, you know, having biologists write for us, you know, you can really take things into your own hands. You don't need um, to have a background, you know, uh, in, in that specific case, if you can facilitate that conversation or if you're passionate about a given cause, you can bring people to the forefront to engage in conversations and really change the way people view something. I know that in the first seven pages or 10 pages of your book, you talk about you know, the, the troubles that the octopus has had in you know, Hollywood and in popular culture with them you know, being perceived or being told as like the slimy, malicious, um, demonic creature. And I remember reading that back you know, when you first published a book thinking you know, to be, um, misrepresented or to be to have a, a story told about you that just isn't true and to you know for me I, I just remember thinking we need to retell that narrative because with over 300 species um, in every you know octopus in every single ocean they live in every ocean they're along every coastline and depend, depending on where they live in the ocean they have this unique superpower that allows them to thrive in their given environment not just live but they're masters of their environment and I thought what an amazing story to tell that I haven't that I haven't seen being told, uh, and what a, a, an amazing time! And Octopus Month is such an amazing time to just focus on the complexities of this animal and to really talk about it in classrooms. To um, we're creating lesson plans for classrooms. We're creating resources like Octopedia. That's going to be a comprehensive field guide of every octopus species, written in a way that people understand at a glance what they're looking at and what their superpowers are. And I just think it's, it's gonna be a game changer this month. Oh, I agree. And you know your story about how, you know, it, you were reading this, this book and decided right then and there, I'm gonna do something. Mm -hmm. That makes me think, Warren, that you might have three hearts too. Because <laughs> that's what a person with a great heart does. And it's a great model. It's a great model for young people to know that right this minute, you can make a difference. You can make a huge difference in this world. And I think that's something that octopuses inspire in us. Um, you, you can't fail to love someone who's that resourceful, who can pivot so quickly, changing color and shape in less than a second. Um, and yet, this is a creature with no bones. This is a creature a packet of unprotected protein swimming through an ocean full of everyone who wants to eat them. Well, if an octopus can show us those superpowers, well, we too can be moved to be super people. And that's what I'm hoping we're all inspired to do. And we, we talk about, you know, what the octopus symbolizes. It symbolizes so many different things, adaptability, you know, resiliency, um, they're ancient. Um, and going playing off of those themes i really think we can take take a lesson from them in the sense where if you're in a given environment you know like for me i was in an environment where i would say that my family they didn't really understand they were apathetic about the ocean because they didn't have the information to inspire them and i thought you know i could create that um that's something that you know the information is out there i can create it all in one place um, and so even if you don't have the background in it, even if you have a passion, I think initially what your brain will tell you is you've never done this before. It, you know, it's scary. Imposter syndrome might kick in where you think, who am I to do this? But if I were to, or if I were to have thought that, you know, um, having no background in science or really the ocean or anything like that, then Octonation wouldn't be <laughs> where it is today. Um, and so we do have the power and, you know, Facebook is a platform that, that gives us the power, any social media um, platform. But for us, it's been, it's been Facebook that has really given us the power to connect all of these individuals and to facilitate these conversations and to get everybody together uh, and to really focus in on um, all of these different characters. And even, even us talking you know, and having conversations, you've come on even from day one, I remember reaching out to you and I, I didn't have that many people that were following me. And I just remember telling you, this is my intention. This is what I want Octonation to be. And you, you didn't bat an eye. You just said, how can I help? 
Yeah, yeah. well, wow. Well, this idea has legs. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, so I, I appreciate you, Sai. I'm excited, Octopus Month, uh, the whole entire month, like I said, we're releasing a lot of really cool things. We're launching Octonation Kids. Yay, oh, that reminds me, I wanna share with the kids my um, a little bit of octopus that just came out yesterday. Can I do that? <laughs> yes. Um, I have a new, I mean, I've, I've written about octopus in The Solomon Octopus. I wrote a book for younger readers on um, Inky, you know, and I have a new book out. It just came out yesterday. It's um, Becoming a Good Creature. As you can see, there's an octopus right on the cover. And it's a, a thank you to all of the creatures who have been my teachers through the years. And I just wanna share this one drawing from the illustrator, the wonderful and incomparable Rebecca Green. And this is Octavia. And those are my hands. And this is the page in which we tell children how octopus has showed me that even someone very different from you, you can find common ground and expand your horizons and have a wonderful new friend. I think that's gonna completely change. Where souls and octopus, I know it changed everybody's thoughts and ideas of what they perceived, you know, about the nation or about, about, about the octopus before. I definitely think just even kids seeing that imagery of, wait, this creature, this is okay, it's safe. Mm -hmm. um, is going to change the way they view um, the animal going to the future. So we'll have to get you, to, uh, we're creating, like I said, Octonation Kids. It's going to be a Facebook group for, for teachers, for people who are homeschooling uh, or, or, or like uh, surprise homeschooling their kids now because of the pandemic. Yeah, right. yeah so we want to create um, that space um, where year round we're giving you activities, having fun, um, fun outdoor activities, fun indoor activities. And so maybe we'll um, have to get you to come into that group and maybe talk more about that book, maybe do a read aloud um, <laughs> for the hey, kids. Bet. Anything for octopus, anything <laughs> for the nation. So, so we'll, we'll definitely put that on our radar. Go enjoy Octopus Month. Go enjoy the videos that are on our Instagram, that are on our Facebook. Um, if you could uh, this month, uh, share more than you normally would. Um, get everybody pumped up about Octopus Month using hashtag Octopus Month. And let's uh, change the way people view the octopus and the ocean. Yay. Yay to that. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Okay. Hugs and kisses.